What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to another Destiny 2 video. So, it is Zer Day, and it is the very last Zer of this season. And Zer is located on Nessus, and he is over here by the Watcher's Grave on the ship. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up dude? Check out my moves, man, check out my moves. What's up? So like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Prometheus Lens. It is an exotic trace rifle. Then we have the Lucky Pants, which is for the Hunter. Helm of Saint 14 for the Titan, as well as the Apotheosis Veil for the Warlock. We're going to go ahead and start with the Prometheus Lens. Trying to perk on this is Prismatic Inferno, which fires a solar trace beam and generates a damage and heat field that grows while the weapon continues to fire. Then we have Chamber Compensator, Projection Fuse, and I'm sorry, Flame Refraction, which kills with this weapon, return a fraction of the ammo used to the magazine from reserves, extending the beam's duration. And then last but not least, we have Composite Stock. Uh, we do have a catalyst for it, as well as two ornaments. This is Eye of Osiris. And then this is also Prism. Now, I'm not sure if there are more um, ornaments for this weapon, but these are the only two that I actually have. And no, ornaments do not come with the weapon. So, Prometheus Lens is okay exotic. It's probably a low tier um, in PV as well as PVP. So I'm probably going to go ahead and give it a tier 2.5 in PVE, but a tier 3 in PVP. And that's only because people are using Cold Heart a lot more than Prometheus Lens in PVP. So, if you guys do not know the tear scale, I will put it down in the description box below for you guys can go ahead and check that out. Next, we have the Lucky Pants for the Hunter. And trying to perk on this is a legally modded holster, which precision hits load one round to the chamber of stowed hand cannons. Uh, hand cannons ready faster and are more accurate immediately after swapping to them. Now, real quick, all of these only have a total of 48 so none of these are actually good um, stat wise but if you guys do not have one go ahead and pick it up as for the lucky pants itself it is not a top tier exotic so I'm going to have to go ahead and give it a tier 3 in PvE as well as PvP uh, I just can't see giving it any higher rating than that next we have the Hemel Saint 14 Trying to perk on this is Starless Knight, which enemies that enter the Water of Dawn are blinded, while allies that pass through gain an overshield, guarding with Sentinel Shield blinds nearby enemies. Now, even though I said do not go ahead and grab any of these because of the low stats on them, if you do not have them, go ahead and grab them. Helm of Saint 14 is still an awesome exotic to have, especially as a Titan, so definitely go ahead and grab it if you do not have one. Uh, next is Apotheosis Veil for the Warlock. Oops. Intended perk on this is Insatiable. Insatiable, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, immediately uh, regenerate health, melee, grenade, and rift energy upon activating your super. Uh, nearby allies recharge class abilities faster. Now, this is a good exotic, more so in PvE than it is in PvP. Um, if you don't have one, go ahead and grab it. But again, it only has a total of 48, so it's really not that good um, stat-wise. But I'm probably going to go ahead and give it a tier 2.5 in PvE, but definitely a tier 3 in PvP. Next, we got your Five of Swords, which is your Nightfall Challenge card, and then your Invitations of the Nine which no one should ever do this because it's not worth it. And then last but not least, we have your exotic engram. If you do not have one of these, go ahead and grab this first before popping the exotic engram because you do have a chance to grab one of these inside this engram. However, that chance also can be one with a better roll for the stats. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny community for LFG on all platforms, content creators, streamers, and you can contact me there as well. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.